Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. For today's episode of Art History Minute, we're going to examine one of the famous unicorn tapestries called the Unicorn in Captivity. It is a medieval masterpiece, so keep watching to find out more. Tapestries are an often forgotten art form. Their design and creation were difficult, but the end result was often spectacular. Unfortunately for modern viewers, it is quite rare for tapestries to survive because of their material. Thankfully, a few do. This particular example, showing a unicorn in captivity, was a part of a series about hunting a unicorn. They date from the turn of the 16th century and are most likely French in origin. Some art historians believe that they were commissioned by Anne of Brittany, queen to Louis XII. Unicorns are a common symbol of feminine virtue, a perfect motif for a queen of France. After a design was created, it was woven with wool, metallic thread, and silk. This combination points to Brussels as the location of creation. It also points to the wealth and status of the owner, because these materials were extremely costly. The detailed background features hundreds of small plants. This style was called mille fleur and was used in the Gothic period. It was widely popular and still used in the late medieval early Renaissance period that this dates from. Despite the age of these tapestries, the colors remain vibrant. Reds, blues, and greens all combine to create a fantastical scene. The Unicorn in Captivity is an amazing example of medieval tapestry work. Not only is it a beautiful piece of art, but it can teach us a plethora about weaving techniques.